What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back in here with another one. And y'all already know we back with the Nerdcore. To be honest, I feel like that's what my channel should be from now on. Just mostly Nerdcore, because honest to God, if you go look at my Twitter, by the way, y'all should go follow me on Twitter. I don't be doing that much. I need to promote my socials more often. Y'all see them up there? Make sure y'all go follow them. But like I said, most of the times, y'all see my Twitter. If y'all ever follow me on Twitter, y'all will literally see my bio says hip hop, but nerdcore music lover. Cause, but it's mostly nerdcore music I listen to daily. Whether I'm at work, while I'm doing prep and such, or just come, or just regularly, regularly, regularly. I just listen to nerdcore music all the time because it just in a way just more fire to me like I said anyway that long with that out of the way we here with the uh, Itachi Uchiha rap song Itachi by Dizzy A and y'all already know whenever Dizzy A comes on a song and it's with Naruto most of the time you know he's about to cook it because a lot of times he may come in here with ones that you never thought he would do but for the ones that you kind of know he would do y'all already know he would he would kill it so without without no long introduction and such we just gonna head right to it so we better check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe and without further ado let's get in the video And this is the third time now I've seen that little lightning shock and such because he did it in the bleach one he did it in the other one and this is the third one he's done that so Chris G you ain't slick you just react you ain't slick let me tell you a story all of my life it was glory and all of my people been warned i tried to go show them that all of the smoke wasn't worn i told them but they just ignored the moves that you making they for us you stepping backwards and pushing us forward i tried to warn i can see you off of blood but you don't know who blood that you pouring with all of the rash decisions that put me in bad positions they gave me a task a mission a mission to bad dimensions see i had to stop hold on y'all hold on hold on let me just put this back, go back with it, because it got a little glitchy. Let me drop it down to at least 1080p, because I want this going smooth and possible, but hold up. Yeah, you know with Dizzy 8, you about to hear a story story. Yo, there's one thing I never ever get over is how smooth as hell whenever Dizzy Eight comes on a song. Cause y'all already, if y'all ever listen to like, if y'all ever see like in a interview or so with nerd with some of the people, some of the reactors who listen to some nerdcore or react to some nerdcore. You hear from this yet saying that he's grown up. He had, like, he's his family is known for music. So trust me, it's in it. Cause the Nick, the man is from Louis, Louisiana, where you know there's a lot of musicians there. But with his type of his type of style, it's way more different than the Boosie Badass or the NBA Young Boys from Louisiana. Cause with them, he's with. Them two, Boosie and NBA, they're more like the uh, gritty side. But don't get it twisted. Dizzy can't switch into that type. But most of the times, Dizzy ain't, he switches it up. Because, look, 
there's no, hey, nine times out of ten, he'll hit you with a God, he'll hit you with one to sing about Jesus and such, and talking on Jesus, today is Sunday, so hope everybody had a good day at church and so, and hope y'all did y'all think. But don't get it twisted. Just because he be talking about Jesus, that that don't mean he won't talk about sliding him with a stick, feeling like Zapu Zapuda. Mm. One look and your body's ashes because I feel like from the like hear me when I say this well I've been saying it a lot of times that even though I don't watch most of the animes or one of the legendary ones like Naruto and such right with most of these nerdcore songs and each one of the characters would it be like a main one or a minor one you would say it gives me more of how their backstories are and most of the times whenever you see Itachi song an Itachi inspired song trust me you know the backstory to a capital T that with Itachi his type of backstory is that even though I, in look I could be straight up wrong like I've said even though most of the times I don't watch the anime I could get the back I could get some of the stories wrong I could get it right don't know don't at me okay it's not like I'm a stan of anime. I just love to watch some little animes here and there. Not all the time, just so on the top. But I feel with Itachi's backstory is like he was like you said you heard in like the part of the song where he tried to give people warning and such and that he was trying to but people didn't know his reasons why he did it. He said that he had to protect basically in a way had to protect the ones he loved and by killing the ones he loves, I don't know. Look, it's just a weird back. I feel like to me, it's a weird backstory. I could be wrong, could be, and I know there's probably gonna be like Stan saying, "Oh, you don't know it at all, bitch." Duh. Then I just said it. I said that most of the times I don't know the few backstories or don't watch most of the anime. Like for Naruto, I didn't know about Itachi and such. I just know the main ones like Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura. And a little bit of Kakashi. But that was mostly what I'm known for. It's just mostly see the characters that I'm known for. And mostly just here around and such. So, I didn't know about Itachi and such. So, yeah. If I know that my brother is living in peace, but I know you don't live by code. And this beat though, shout out to Sesh, Sesh Nolan, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong bro, the way how you did this beat to perfection, cause with Dizzy 8, his is like a, his type of, his type of vocal voice is like, like you could like what's the word like like it's in a way how Fable's voice is but different Fable is more of like a, like I've always called it the blood curling scream while Dizzy is more of like the you can say like the old soul type vibe where 
where on a beat like this you hear it you hear it go smooth like smooth as hell vibey as hell like that right with fables his is like the uh, like the metal like gritty like uh, type thing not saying dizzy don't go into that too but with dizzy Yates voice his will fit more of the like rapping rapping like the hip-hop rapping vibe and with fable he has a way of mixing with his type of voice he has a way of mixing the rock with the rap together and make it somehow works i don't know how he does it he just does but yeah with with sessional with this type of v v i swear anytime when i'm talking i be saying weird words all i gotta say is with this beat it definitely fits dizzy And Madara, that nigga, sheesh. All I gotta say is with Madara, and the many times I've heard from, I watch CJ the Champs videos, Madara, he's a nigga that definitely deserves to be on the. Look, this may be a side note. The song is fire. Don't get me wrong, but I just had to talk to CJ the Champ for a little second. The way how CJ the Champ explained Madara to me, bro, I swear, this nigga Madara does def definitely deserve to be on that anime Black Air Force table. Cause God damn it, if you haven't watched CJ the Champ, y'all probably have heard of him. Y'all should go watch him. I watch them too. Well, when I say watch him, I mean like watch other reactors watching him. But I still hear him no matter what you say. It don't matter. You still hear about him. You still learn about him. Point is, I can see coming how Itachi had Itachi had to wipe out an entire village. Same way how Madara did. Yes. Like I said, whenever you know Dizzy Eight about to go on a freaking Naruto inspired song, nine times out of ten, ten. <laughs> See what I mean? Nine times out of ten, he kills it. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this reaction down in the comments below. For me, this song was a smooth little vibe. Tell the story of Itachi good all the way. And with Dizzy, like I said with him, you know whenever he killed, you know whenever it's a song that he knows he will kill it, he kills it. <laughs> Duh. I don't know what I was saying, but you know at the end, at the end of the day, you know this year is a fire. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. There you go.